Hey you, so a couple of months ago I recommended some of my favorite smaller YouTubers, but just like with Black History Month or Gay Pride, it left me wondering, what about the big guy? Who's gonna look out for the people who don't actually need any help? And that's why today I'm gonna be recommending some of my all-time favorite YouTubers regardless of their size. Now that's equality. Dark Squid. Starting us off at number 10 is Brytanic. Brian and Nick are my all-time favorite sketch comedy inspirations, and I can't even get in the mood to write a comedy sketch until I've watched about five of theirs. You will find their influence scattered all over my videos, and basically, if you like me, you'll like them. They have to be at the bottom of this list, though, for almost never uploading. It's almost like they have actual lives or something. Gross. What the fuck I'm awake. is this? Oh, uh, it's me. It's Brian. Brian? Brian. Number nine is Ashley Mardell, who is a super creative YouTuber who always edits her videos in really interesting ways. She talks about LGBTQ issues, she drops some awesome spoken word, and generally does it all in a really likable way. She's just, she's a good egg, and I like her. This is a poem about being gay. Hey, enough! That's what your last 40 freaking videos have been about. Eighth has to be Shmo Yoho. The Gregory Brothers are a bunch of YouTubers I've been following since around 2009 when they launched their audio tune, the new series, which I promptly downloaded and listened to about a hundred times each because I'm a big old nerd. Each of the four is a very talented musician in their own right, but together they create some of the best ear stuffs on the YouTube. Damn, damn, damn. My number seven is Captain Disillusion. CD is dedicated to debunking fake viral videos in excruciating levels of detail. If watching phonies and gullibles get put to shame, then you are in for a treat. Granted, we only have a highly compressed internet video to work with. But even here, with a lot of processing and very little social life, we can spot the oldest trick in the book. A string. At six, we have Anna Rakana. She does funny comedy sketches, she does really interesting vlogs, she shows up at the end of Ant Man, and then I break an embargo by tweeting about it. Basically, she's pretty great and pretty. Yeah. Small twist on a standard greeting and direct enough to show interest, but indirect enough not to be condescending and misogynistic. Acknowledgement of your non use of cat calls or road observations of my body to get my attention. Sliding in at number five is Tom Scott, not Tom Scar, because that is me. Tom hops all over the world finding interesting, nerdy, weird things to make videos about. Computer glitches, dumb laws, mysterious locations, basically he does all the adventuring, so I, I don't have to. These days, green screen is easy. You get your lighting right, you point a camera at someone, and then you click a few buttons and tweak a few settings in your graphics software, and there you go. Perfect. But how do they do this sort of compositing? before computers. My fourth favorite YouTuber is Dodie Clark. Doddle oddle, doobly oobly. My guilty pleasure on YouTube has always been indie musicians, and whenever Dodie releases a new song, I always find myself listening to it on repeat until everyone around me has no choice but to hate it. So, you're welcome, Dodie and other people I know. Hey, I'm doing a lot of thumbs up in this video. What's wrong with? A little bit, what's wrong with? A little bit, what's wrong with? A little bit of hate. Third would have to be one of the trailblazers of YouTube, Mr. Freddy Wong and his squad over at Rocket Jump. They have consistently pushed the boundaries of high production value, narrative driven, VFX heavy content and have inspired me and countless others. And in short, their videos are cool and funny. Good job. I can't stop. Number two is Explosum Entertainment, the guys behind Cyanide and Happiness, and also the first online community I ever joined way back in like 2002, Stick Suicide. Their cartoons are consistently hilarious and dark and also uploaded weekly, and it's just kind of hard to express how much they deserve all of the successes they've had. Good job. Not gonna do a thumbs up this time. Ah, oh, I did it. Before heading on to number one though, I gotta shout out the honorable mentions who unfortunately didn't make it onto this list, but they are all people definitely worth checking out because obviously I like them or I probably wouldn't be recommending them. Obviously. Auntie Donna. William Haynes. Corridor Digital. Fireheart. Aussie Man Reviews. Postmodern Jukebox. Roomy Official. Susfed. Story Corps. The Fed Pew. Les Green. Tim Tim Fed. Five Second Film. Agent XPQ. AV Byte. Sexplanations. H Bomber Guy. Nuga Zuga. CGP Grey. And Film Cow. Now, my all time favorite YouTube person who has not only been consistently providing me with entertainment but also inspiring me with their dedication to the medium and also their development as a professional and a human being. It's gotta be Philip DeFranco. 
It's gonna be. Now, I could care less if men and women can will ogle these boys. Side note, there's no doubt in my mind this guy either fucked the pizza or fucked that teddy bear. Maybe both, maybe one, maybe the other one watched. It happened. As I mentioned, Phil not only inspires me as a professional, given how he's built an entire multi-channel empire here on YouTube, but also, and not to sound too condescending, as a person, watching him evolve has just been super inspiring, and that is good. So basically, Phil, thank you for the years of entertainment and inspiration. You are good. One last thumbs up for you, sir. <laughs> well, those are my two cents. To be honest, this list was almost impossible to put together since my top 10 is almost always evolving, but I hope you enjoy checking out any and all of the channels that I mentioned. Feel free to recommend any of your favorite YouTubers in the comments down below, or even better, make a video about it and spread the love. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next time. Tom Scott, out. What, what is that? That's my new mug. No, that. Oh. Yeah, that's the hub. My house.